and welcome to another episode of GMS in Transit where we prophesy on the road. Today's topic, we're going to continue on in the book of Hebrews. Last week, we uh, covered chapters 1, 2, and 3. Uh, this week, we're going to try to hopefully uh, go through chapters 4, 5, and 6, and possibly uh, 7, uh, but we'll see where the Spirit takes us. So with that, we're going to, I'm going to pass it to the elders. All right, this is the book of Hebrews, chapter 4, verse 1. It says, Let us therefore fear, lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest, any of you should seem to come short of it. Right, outside of keeping the law, outside of having faith, you got to also have fear. Con. All right? That's right. It says, For unto us was the gospel preached, as well as unto them. But but the uh, Salakia. Uh, but the word preached did not profit them. Yeah, and the them, you know, I'm not gonna mention any names. You already know who we, we we're talking about. All right? The usual suspects. Hmm. You know, you check those guys out and you find out that they were into this truth, then all of a sudden they took a long break. Some for a couple of years, some for more than 10 years. Go ahead. It says, but the word uh, preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. Now, the reason why they took that time off is because they lacked faith. Yep. That's, the, that's the reason. They doubted this thing. Now, if you have doubt in your mind, you keep pushing on yep you know for we which have be believed do enter into rest as he said as I have uh, as I have sworn in my wrath if they shall enter into my rest although the works were finished from the foundation of the world for he spake in a certain place of the seventh day on this wise, and the Most High did rest the seventh day from all his works. And in this place again, if they shall enter into my rest. Seeing therefore it remaineth, uh, it remaineth that some must enter therein, and they to whom it was first preached entered not in because of unbelief. Again, he limited a certain day, saying in David, today. Yeah, let me say this too, going into a uh, lack of faith and unbelief. We speak about guys that have sold out. Right. That have made that Faustian bargain. And uh, with the devil. But the thing about Faust he supposedly won the uh, bet with the devil, hmm. but uh, these guys are not gonna win. They're gonna have they 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 sold their soul, they sold their soul, they sold their soul, they sold their soul, and they have to pay. They're gonna have to pay by the uh, by the hands of the Most High. Go, Go ahead. It says again, he limited a certain day, saying in David, today after so time as it is said today if you will hear his voice harden not your hearts for if jesus or joshua had given them rest then would he not afterward have spoken of another day there remained therefore rest to the people of the most high for he that is entered the into the people of the most high are the, the elect of israel come for he that is entered into his rest he also have ceased from his own works as the Most High did from his. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. 
Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight. But all things are, are marked, uh, sorry, all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him with whom we have to do. Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Yahweh Shai, the son of the Most High, let us hold fast our profession. For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities. Yeah, our profession is this uh, teaching this word, bringing out the, the truth. That's our profession. But was in all points tempted, like as we are, yet without sin. Yeah, and that proves that Yahweh Shai was in the flesh, because he was tempted just like we're tempted. And you notice it said without and not without. Read that again Come about on. the sin part. It says, uh, "But was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin." Yet without sin. So what did that mean? That meant he kept the law. Right. And the law he kept was the Mosaic law, because you got guys out there talking about the Mosaic law is done away with. The law that our Lord kept was the Mosaic law. The law that. The law, the law that the Heavenly Father gave to Moses thousands of years before Yahweh Shai came on the scene. Yeah, let's prove that. I believe that's in Matthew 19, around about the 10th verse mm -hmm. or so. Yeah, because what law did our Lord keep or kept? Those, are those guys that say the law is done away with. What law did the Lord kept? And then the Lord made a statement. He said, I always do the things that pleaseth my Father. Now, how do you please the Heavenly Father? You, you keep his law. That's how you please him. This is uh, Matthew chapter 19, verse 10. His disciples say unto him, If the case of the man be so with his wife, it is not good to marry. But he said unto them, All men cannot receive this saying, save they to whom it is given. For there are some eunuchs which were so born from their no, mothers. Go right to the point of the rich man. Um... Verse 16, And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I, that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one that is the Most High. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. He saith unto him, Which? Yahweh I said, Thou shalt do no murder. Thou shalt well, where did the Lord get that from? Yeah. The law of Moses. That's from the law of Moses. Go ahead. Thou shalt not commit adultery. That's from the law of Moses. Go ahead. Thou shalt not steal. From the law of Moses. Thou shalt not bear false witness. From the law of Moses. Honor thy father and thy mother. From the law of Moses. And thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. From the law of Moses. And when I say the law of Moses, <clears throat> the Most High, Yahweh, gave the law. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, gave the law to Moses, and it is it is commonly known as Moses' law, but it's really the Lord's uh, law Con. that was given to Moses, an Israelite, to give to the children of Israel. Yep. <clears throat> it's it. As a matter of fact, when you look up the word commandment, we've done on, on uh, many occasions, you look up the word commandment in the Greek, you'll see the word there, the Greek word for commandment is entole. And then you'll see the definition. It says, all the Mosaic law, meaning the law that was given to Moses. So when the, when the New Testament speaks about the commandments, it's talking about the laws that was given to Moses. The young man saith unto him, All these things have I kept from my youth up. What lack I yet? Yahweh shall said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven. And come and follow me. But when the young man heard that saying, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. Then said Yahweh Shai to his disciples, Verily I say unto you, that a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of, the, of heaven. And again I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of the Most High. That means uh, you got to humble yourself. You guys that fell off, you you when you came in and that's why you fell off off went back into the world now you're trying to come back because you see all these uh videos of is different israelite groups 
teaching his word. Had had we or other Israelite groups never went on YouTube, you wouldn't have came or you wouldn't have put nothing up on YouTube, man. Yeah. You know? So so who are you trying to kid? Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. Uh, back in Hebrews 4 and 16, let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Hebrews chapter 5, verse 1. For every high priest taken from among men is ordained for men in things pertaining to the Most High, that he may offer both gifts and sacrifices for sins. Who can, ha who can have compassion on the ignorant and on them that are out of the way, for that he himself also is compassed with infirmity. And by reason uh, hereof he ought, as for the people, so also for himself, to offer for sins. And no man taketh his dishonor unto himself, but he that is called of the Most High as was Aaron." So also Yahweh Shai glorified not himself to be made an high priest, but he said, but he said unto him, Thou art my son, today have I begotten thee. Today have I begotten thee. As he saith also in another place, thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Who is who in the days of his flesh, when he had offered up uh, prayers and supplications with strong crying and tears unto him that it, that was able to save him from death and was heard and that he feared though he were a son yet learned he obedience by the things which he suffered and being made perfect in uh, he became the author of eternal salvation Unto all them that obey him. Called of the Most High and High Priest after the order of Melchizedek. Of whom... Melchizedek is a Hebrew, uh, the Hebrew word uh, Mal Malak Tazadak, which means king of righteousness. That, that was one of the names given to Yahweh Shai. It says, of whom we have many things to say. And hard to be uttered, seeing you are dull of hearing. For when for the time you ought to be teachers, you have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of the Most High, and are become such as, as have need of milk and not of strong meat. Yeah, like for example, the elders of uh, GMS and some of the other up-and-coming brothers in GMS in the different states, um, they're on a level where they can teach the, the original elders that taught us. Right. You know, we, you know, we learned great things from the um, our high priests before us, but we have more of an insight um, now through the scriptures where we can explain stuff to them. And that's not bragging or boasting, you know, or trying to lift ourselves up. Up, that's just a fact. Right. Yep. You know, because we're steady in the scriptures, and we're steady looking up, you know, seeing the prophecies come to pass, and filtering those prophecies through the scriptures themselves. Come. It says, for every one that is that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. You, yeah, know, you got a lot of babes out there that think they know the truth right. and don't know the truth. And um, when things get too deep, they choke. Like, for example, when that situation about rape found in uh, the book of Deuteronomy, what is that, Deuteronomy 22? Okay. Um, a lot of guys that came into GMS and followed GMS and went out and spoke and, uh, you know, labored in the truth along with GMS for maybe two, three years, four years or whatever. When that situation came up, a lot of guys couldn't handle it, man. So that was, that was meat that was given to you and you uh, choked on that, you choked on that meat. So that's just to give you one example. 
Mm-hmm.